There was like an excitement and a strong yeah. emotion yeah. to your you voice. See, that's a pattern. Those, yeah. like you had to organize the patterns. So, I mean, and so here is a pattern where you're expected to say something just like you were expected to type on a keyboard that was all out of order. Yes, and if I want to be, then it's like, how they say, play the game. Yes. Even if you really feel dirty and you afterwards, mm. because you kind of, like, something's not right, you know? You still feel like throwing up after. Mm. Yes. I don't know, but it's so simple, like, I don't see why I needed to compromise myself in an area where it made me actually sick inside, whereas I could honestly say that it just caused people some like momentary discomfort because they started it. Do you understand? They Very started it with the hi, how are you? Like a setup, sort of, you know? But they had no interest in your answer. They're just that's going through the motions. Why. Yeah, yes. See, that's the thing. Because but they still started it because you have to all of a sudden organize. Because you already say, this means this. And then you have to organize your response to what it means. But then you have to stop everything because... What it means isn't what they want to know. Yes. Then they teach you the ABCs in order, and then they make you use a keyboard. What is the point? See, well, I didn't do that. Right. Why are no, the, no, well, that? What? Yes, no, you did. It. No, no. What is the point? What's the point? No, that's what? not how the guy What is it. the, you did it right as far as, I mean, I understand. It's the Italian version. The Italian guy said it better on TV. What is the point? That would be like a lawyer guy. What yeah. is the point? You know, like, so you have to do it like the Italian. What's the point? Or no, that's not it. What's oh, the no, point? TV. Yeah. What's okay. the point? My, I, I have a fascination with speech. Sorry. Uh, that's yeah, fine. that's, that's it. This is what makes me crazy about people because I feel like I'm not crazy. I just like the only same person in a crazy world. You know, where reason and logic means nothing or or nothing means what it's supposed to mean and and then I understood that because and everything is about you adjusting to them not them adjusting to you if they ask the question then on the test you gave what fits it's became mathematical see like some of the tests was how many brothers do you have and it's like two plus two equals four it's not five it was not the, like so math has is your name like is your name sarah i if i said if i just pounded yes automatic see if my name is your name Sarah and I said yes and if they said is your name Becky I said yes is your name Michael I said yes my things didn't have to get ugly see and it got ugly um so they wanted it to be exact there I knew that they said your name and your meaning that entity which is Julie, which is who I was. See, that was who I was occupying. And you was the entity named Julie, so I, it wasn't Sarah. So I said no, then I said no, and then the, the questions got harder but it sounds like they wanted an exact truthful correct answer for questions like that and then when it became social questions they wanted you to not answer accurately like Which, they wanted they wanted an accurate question what is your name yes they want you to say julie 
not Becky or Bob. They want you to say Julie. Yes. But then when they ask, how are you, they want you to answer no, inaccurately. They didn't ask me that. I know, but I'm saying, but there were the That's two people, ways. There are two people. categories. Yeah, the people. Answer this one accurately not, and this one see, inaccurately. Yeah, you see, that is um, the hypocrisy of humanity. And to be part of humanity, you have to um, somehow tolerate that, even if you don't. Because then you'll be lonely. Yeah. Because you couldn't be everywhere anymore, and you couldn't be a ghost, and you weren't part of anybody anymore. Because now you knew where you began and ended. I began and ended at Julie. That's where I began and ended at Julie. And when you begin and end at Julie, then that means you're not connected to everybody anymore. And that's when you become lonely and that's when suffering became constant. And that's when you understand what fear was. Fear was born and doubt was born. What would be an experience you would have started to have with fear? Knowing that something that happened could happen again and that it would hurt. Mm. Anticipation. And then you would anticipate whether this was a good thing that was going to feel good or a bad thing that was going to feel bad to that person that was truly the entity that was truly, see? Who well, you couldn't get away from anymore. No matter what you try to backtrack anymore, everything else is like, like you can't go there no more. So that's a loss. Yes, it was death. It sounds like it. Yes. Then you had to become like the dead. Now there's one strange thing. That's when you know what death means. Death or death? Dying. Okay. It's losing a part of yourself, which was actually part of everything. Because now you're just a tiny part, separate. And then you have to figure out a way of not being alone or lonely. And then you can't do it the way you did it before, no, and you only you had to do it their way. Like Sarah, not Sarah, um, Judy and Tara, if they're talking, they are together. See, and... Yes. You're not, you can't, you're not with them. So if you want to be with them, you have to be with them another way now. And to do that, you have to talk. And talking has to be refined to mean you can't just repeat what they're saying because they you're not included anymore like see um so here you are having to figure out how yeah. to be included you to won't reconnect. nobody nobody to will reconnect see nobody will leave you alone and nobody will include you <laughs> Well, no, they wouldn't leave me alone, no. And then they wouldn't leave me alone and until I got stuck into Julie land.
they did. I don't mean it to sound like that. They wouldn't leave me alone until I, you see, and then I got stuck in Julie Land. See, and when you get stuck in Julie Land, you couldn't you be with them either. They, they, it's like. They made you stuck there, and you couldn't be their friend or be with them. Like you couldn't be there here, and you couldn't be there. And like, why did you even sh shove me here? See, I guess. And nobody understood what was happening, so they didn't know how to help you because this is yeah, all new. They, that's. Um, so they 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 didn't help. Yeah, they that's didn't when they were put help. me on like medicines, like the like um, because my mom was took to the doctor and she said she used to be happy and and now she's not like I. She took me to the doctor. She said. She used to be happy, see, and um, I was getting better and I was not getting better, see, and um, one part was getting better and one part was not getting better. One part was gone, see, and then um, um, medicines were given, I guess, and well, yeah. But um, I was happy reading books and learning because I liked that. That was another escape for me. Well, you when you started, the very first thing you did was at age nine. You huh. you you said a phrase. Oh yeah, alone leave me. Then you began verbal that, stimming to keep the talking going, but it wasn't because it it had an effect. And and once you get something like that, like, you don't want to lose it. Yeah, see, so because if I kick and I scream or I did stuff, it didn't make anybody do anything. And I realized, like, like my. Sister say, leave me alone, and like she would do that and then slam the door in on me because I um um I felt I was with her all the time and she's got tired I guess so she would say leave me alone and shut the door and then my mom would say leave her alone and it meant that I couldn't be with her for a while sometimes because I yeah um, um yeah because like somebody had to have a normal childhood with friends so like like my um my illness shouldn't mean like everybody has to like not have a life or, or a childhood see so like I had to leave my sister alone that meant like I couldn't be in her room in our room or something like which would make you feel how uh, uh, it didn't bother me no just the just like uh, some this what else was happening see so well I'm wondering something because um, when you began you you had some talking a, a phrase at nine. Then, meant, then you did the vocal I stimming. Knew, I knew that meant something. See. Yes. And most, most words mean something. Like. Or they make people do things. Yes. If they make people do things. Like what kind of cereal do you want? You could say a word and say what kind of cereal you wanted and get it. But if you can't communicate, then you can't get what yes. you want. You yeah. can't tell anybody what you want. You just get what they give you. Yes, and that one at nine was because they were going to. They wouldn't. But I, that was the phrase 
but it didn't come out right. It came out like backwards, I think. But, but it was clear enough. A typical person would understand what yes, that meant. Yes, it said, and it was like, um, I, the lady stopped and... But then you couldn't keep doing it and let me just read i tried yeah i tried to do it again and it wouldn't come out no so then you to not lose talking completely you did the vocal stimming to keep the sounds coming the right way i was fascinated by the sounds because that was the first time i heard the julie entity say something but but then the next and i tried to understand why she didn't say anything ever Mm, and other people did, see? Um, then you began typing at about age 12. Yeah. And then when did you begin talking intentionally again after what you... I know you had done vocal because stems. repeat, I would repeat things and sometimes some things came out. But I didn't have the... It was I-N-C-O-N-T... And consistency, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was inconsistent. Sporadic. Yeah, I, uh, but I, I, someone would say something and I repeat it soon after and I was afraid to lose it and I would repeat it again and again and like, you know, like a song you play over and over because you're fascinated by it. Yes. And then you just don't know where, like, you couldn't hit a different phrase, so you got stuck on it a lot. So I did that, but I realized that, like, for example, if someone asked me a question, I knew what the answer was here, but the only thing that came out of the Julie's mouth was the last thing she said. See? So, like, yabba dabba do, Barney. You see, you understand? Like, I knew what I, like, I knew what I want to say, but then, like, the only thing that came out was the last thing I, the last thing I said the last time. And it didn't sound the same. And, why couldn't I? I want to go back to one thing here uh, to see about talking. I don't know why I couldn't make it match for such a long time. Was typing mostly for answering questions? Yeah, I spelled verse. And and was talking when you began to talk intentionally did that become more like about initiating and and conversation talking yeah i mean was typing mostly about tests and answering questions and was talking when you began to talk intentionally more to communicate and um and or was it still just to answer questions typing yeah typing uh was typing let's start with just typing was typing um, for answering questions, yes or no? When you could type? Yes. Was typing yes?